Hello everyone, good morning to all. In today's class, we are going to start construction of rectilinear figures. Under rectilinear figures, we have two main topics, construction of triangles and construction of quadrilaterals. In triangles, we have broadly six types of triangles in our syllabus. First classification based on sides and second classification based on angles. Under classification based on sides, we have equilateral triangles isosceles triangle and scalene triangle and if we classify these triangles based on angles then we have right angle triangle acute triangle or acute angle triangle and third is obtuse triangle so let's begin with the first problem first problem of construction construct an equilateral triangle given the length of the side equals to 50 mm so in first question the length length of the side or side is 50 mm and it's an equilateral triangle now we know that for equilateral triangle all three sides are equal in length or length of all sides all three sides will be same equals to 50 mm so for construction first of all draw a line straight line of length 50 mm line of length 50 mm like this and please use dark pencil now in construction work this color orange color is going to represent dark pencil or HB pencil for construction orange color is going to represent HB pencil now these are two ends of first side say ends are A and B. Now for naming please use H pencil. Here white is for H pencil. Now we have two methods for construction of an equilateral triangle. First method from compass or arc. Second angle or protector method. So in this question we are going to use first method arc method. Now for construction what to do? First of all set radius or arc length equals to this much AB equals to 50 mm AS center and arc like this then BA center again BA center and same radius same arc length B is the center and second arc common intersection point is your third corner of triangle then from this corner the straight lines joining A and B. Now third point is C. And for dimensioning, draw two extension lines. These are extension lines perpendicular to first side. And then dimensioning line parallel to that side like this. And write the size or length of the base base AB so this is complete answer or complete construction of an equilateral triangle of side 50 mm please draw AB BC and CA by dark pencil HP then for all naming please use H pencil and for construction work, these are light work, light or construction work, or for thin dimensioning and extension line, please use light or 2H pencil, medium light pencil. Second question, construct an isosceles triangle MNO having its base MN equals to 40 mm and its altitude equals to 50 mm. Now, isosceles means two sides of a triangle are equal third may not be equal so for isosceles triangle MNO base length of the base is 50 no length of the base is 40 so draw a line of length 40 mm using a scale first of all draw length or draw a line of length 40 mm MN M is 40 mm and altitude 50 mm now for 
altitude of this triangle extend its base like this now for extension please use light pencil right it's a construction work so please use light pencil for extension and from this line draw a perpendicular perpendicular means 90 degree 90 degree and the length length should be 50 so height or length here is 50 mm then from this point draw another line parallel to first line so please use your roller scale like this draw another line like this right so this is the locus locus of third point third point O so for given triangle first side length of the first side is 40 mm height or altitude is 50 mm now please draw extension lines for dimension extend these limits and draw a line parallel to base ml parallel to base ml right and write its length length is 40 mm now m is my first point n is the second point and third point locus of third point is this line now we know that for isosceles triangle both base angles angle at m and angle at n will be same or we can say the central point central point means midpoint of m n after extension after extension so we will find or we will mark midpoint of m after extension is going to meet with the third point so please find midpoint of ml midpoint of ml and draw perpendicular perpendicular to intersect this locus this point is third point over now from o to m draw a straight line second side and o to n third side of your triangle so this is the final answer it's an isosceles triangle mno with base mn 40 mm long and height or altitude 50 mm third question construct a triangle given the altitude equals to 55 mm and two base angles 40 degrees and 65 degrees now for third question again altitude 55 mm is given to you so please draw two lines two lines parallel to each other at a distance of 55 mm so draw two lines parallel to each other parallel to each other and the distance or gap between two lines is 55 mm Please do proper dimensioning for fifty five. This height or altitude is fifty five mm. Right. Now we know that in case of triangles, base angle means base angle means these are base angles. Now here in third problem two base angles are 40 and 65 so if we assume this as final answer this angle is say for example this angle is 40 and this angle is 65 so if this angle is 65 this angle must be again 65 similarly if this angle is 40 this must be 40 so mark first point or starting point of triangle along first line and 
the angles are 40 and 65 40 and 65 like this so from this line angle 40 from this direction we have to read from this side angle is 40 and from this side angle is 65 65 this is the angle right so from this point angle is 40 and from this point angle is 65 this is the final triangle now please use dark pencil for representation of sides of your triangle please use dark pencil right and then show angles now for angles please use light pencil again for dimensioning right and from this center draw a complete semicircle like this first angle second angle and third angle right now angles, this angle is 40, 40 degrees, this is also 40, so write 40 degrees, measure of this angle is 65, write 65 degrees, this is also 65, 65 degrees, and write uh, names of the corners, say corners are A, B and C. Next question number 4. Construct a right angle triangle MNO having its base as 55 mm and the base angle MNO or angle MNO is equal to 30 degrees. So, first side or base of length 55 mm is given to you. So, draw first side side M and MN of length 55 mm so from N to M or from N to M length of the side is 55 mm then for dimensioning please draw extension lines perpendicular to the base and dimensioning lines always parallel to the base or base edge Fifty-five. Okay, now we know that it's a right angle. Right angle triangle means at least one angle. At least one angle will be ninety. Will be of ninety. And base angle. One of the base angle is thirty. So what to do? Draw perpendicular from N or from N. Now it is to be decided by this angle. Angle M N O angle M N and say third uh, corner of the triangle is O. So angle M N O this angle is 30. It means this will be perpendicular line or this side angle of this side will be of 90. So draw a line perpendicular to M N from M like this and then from point n from corner n angle of 30 because angle m n o is given to you so angle n is 30 angle n is 30 right so common intersection point this point is the third corner or third point of the triangle and the name of this corner is O. Now this is the final triangle so please show all sides of this triangle using dark HP pencil and do proper dimensioning 
four angle and this angle is a right angle 90 degrees so just for symbol of right angle and show that this angle is 30 degrees right so this is the final answer of your fourth question next question number five construct a triangle rst rst having its base r is equals to 50 mm side st 35 mm and side tr 30 mm again three sides three edges of triangles are rs st and tr and first side or first base rs is 50 mm long so the first side or first base of this triangle rs r s r and s this is the side r s ok now again for dimension or extension lines extension lines and dimensioning line extension line always perpendicular to the edge dimensioning line always parallel to the edge or side and write the length 50 r and second corner second vertex is s okay now rs rs is 50 rs is 50 now side st from s to t somewhere here we will get t st is 35 and side tr t to r or rt is 30 mm so what to do set 35 mm as radius center as s from s as center and radius or arc length equals to 35 draw an arc like this again from r from r to r s center and t r equals to 30 t r equals to 30 draw another arc common intersection point is your third point T and then join T from R and S this is third point T now please show length of RT and length of ST by drawing extension lines perpendicular to H and dimensioning line if possible on extension lines like this T or TR is 30 mm, 30 and ST, 35. So this is your answer. Please use proper pencil. Green color, green color, use light pencil or twist pencil. For medium work, please use edge pencil. And for final answer, use dark hp pencil now i'll request you to please draw all these problems on your sheet and if you have any problem in triangles or construction of triangles please write your comments in the comment box thank you